now hello friends welcome to this new video so in this video we will do the further transformation in our data so i hope you have watched the previous video now just come to this balance sheet data once you have clicked on this balance sheet data you can observe carefully we have made one transformation here which was we were changing the data type okay and the next thing is we have used first row as an header because column header were not available okay now if you observe carefully this particular table is pivoted right now okay so we have first three columns then values for each and every year 2014 15 16 till 21 right so what we will do we will just unpivot this particular data so that what will happen okay let's see what will be the difference so you have to just select three columns okay balance sheet category and subcategory and just right click okay so there is an option on pivot other column just click on this one now check so the all the this particular table which was balance sheet data it is getting unpivoted now now we have only one two more columns which is attribute and value so what we can do instead of attribute we can rename it as year so basically when we unpivoted this particular uh, table we only the shape of the table got changed right so we'll put it as values so one more thing which we have to do here is now if you go on this particular table company expenses so again same thing uh, kind of things are there we have different columns in which dates are present but this particular table is pivoted right now so we want to unpivot this particular table so what we will do we will select first two columns once selected first two columns just right click on these two particular columns and select pivot on unpivot other columns okay so the table is unpivoted now now we have two new columns first one is attribute and second one is value so again instead of attribute what we will do we'll just rename it dates and values so let's rename this okay so we'll put it as expense values and this one as months and see the data type right now is text so what we can do we can select it as date so this is done now so now we will do the same thing with the clash cash flow data so what we will do we will select first three columns right click and unpivot other columns we have two different columns now so this attribute instead of attribute we will rename it as years and instead of value we will put it as cash flow value Similarly, in balance sheet, we have just substituted as value, so we'll put balance sheet value. So now everything is done. Now, once all the transformations are done, you can just hit on close and apply button. Okay, so your data will get loaded. See, it's loading now. Now, once the data is loaded, you have to go to your model view. Okay, if you click on this particular model view, now you can see the different tables in your report here.
so right now it's a huge mess right multiple tables are there and we don't know how the other tables are interlinked with each other so what we will do now we will just arrange this properly very first thing while arranging is first let all the relationships okay we will build the relationship from the sketch so it will be more easier now see i have deleted all the relationships now what we have to do we have to arrange the tables in proper format so that it will be useful and we have to build up a new relationships now so while arranging what we will do in the first row we will keep lookup tables in the second row we will keep fact tables and in the third row we will keep our different templates if available okay so we have three templates available here okay so we will arrange this now observe i have now observe i have arranged the table in this particular format first we have all the lookup tables which are dates customers region and product then i have arranged the fact tables which are sales invoices balance sheet data cash flow data and company expenses okay and then we have the template so you can also arrange in this particular format now it will be more feasible while creating the relationships now the question is how to build the relationship manually so it is very easy you have to just drag the column name onto the other column name for example we want to build the relationship between dates and sales so what we will do we will just drag this date to order date now the relationship will be automatically built see this is the first relationship and this star means many and this means one it means one thing from this particular table is related to many different things from in this particular table so this is called as an one to many relationship so basically there are three types of relationship one to one one to many and many to many okay so our date table is linked with the sales table similarly we will do other linking as well the now if you want to link customer table with the sales table so here customer index you can link with the customer name index right so again this will be one to many relationship see one to many relationship now the third table which is region so regional index you can connect with the delivery region index again this will be one to many relationship now one table is remaining which is the product so product index we can link with the product description index again this is one to many relationship now if you observe carefully over this table invoices table so it has two different dates right clearing date and due date but if you connect this particular date table with this one so i'll just show you what will happen see date will be the clearing date so this will be one to many relationship okay but now this due date is also a date right so if you drag this date on due date so what will happen see one star mark will appear here okay so this is the dotted line right so it shows inactive relationship now whenever search situation occurs so what you have to do you have to make the active relationship as inactive so just double click on the relationship one pop up will open to edit the relationship so here you have to just uncheck the option make this relationship active if you uncheck this one so it will be an inactive so it will be also a dotted line now see both the relationship there is a relationship between the dates with clearing date and due date but both the relationships are inactive okay so this will be very helpful whenever whenever we are doing the age trial method now the next thing is if you create uh, like 
if you want to connect the dates with balance sheet date now let's say you are connecting date with year now see what the issue will happen one message will pop up because this particular relationship is many to many relationship right talking about here we have one column of year right if you drag this year to year right now what will happen see the message is prop up while creating the relationship that this relationship has a cardinality many to many so we should avoid such kind of situation right so what will happen when we like use many to many relationship the filters will flow in this particular direction as well and in this particular direction as well so what we will do we will just avoid this particular type of relationships many to many so now three tables are remaining which is balance sheet data cash flow data and company expenses so we cannot build the relationship at this particular moment okay so what we will do we will integrate these particular tables with the sales table to get a new table where all data is present i'll show how to do this in the next video so till then thank you for joining with me in this video in our next video we are going to create the income statement